Michael Stanton here of Supersportmotors.com Selling a 1958 Chevrolet Impala today Filming this right here on beautiful summer 2018 I am most likely going to do a longer video than I normally do Just because there's so much to say about this car I've sold quite a few cars through the years And I can easily on one hand tell you which five cars I've owned through the years that have been the most spectacular, the most memorable, the most perfect, etc, uh, etc. Et this is one of those five cars. I've owned this car, I guess, a year. My story of getting this car is really pretty cool. I bought a really nice Riviera out in Colorado, again, about a year ago. And while I was uh, flying out there to Colorado and picking up my Riviera and driving across the country, I saw this car sitting on four flats in the back warehouse of the dealership in southern Colorado where I bought that Riviera. And I just kept looking at it because I was at this dealership for quite a while. And finally I went over to this car with four flats, dusty and everything and stuff inside it. And I'm like, who owns this thing? And they said, oh, that was a trade-in for a Ferrari, I think it was. And I looked at it real close, and it didn't take me very long to realize that I was looking at an all-original, incredible, perfect car. So, after quite a few months of going back and forth, I did a partial trade of one of my cars towards this car. And got it, and I've been cleaning it and loving this car all summer, and realizing that I bought a gem, an absolute stunning automobile. Now, like I said, when I bought it, it had four flats. So I just put those tires and rim on this car yesterday, and man, I'm telling you, it really sets it off nice. And I know some of you are going to look at this video and you're going to want to know tire sizes and rims. So those are American, those are American Racing polished T71Rs, 15 by 8. And the tires, I just put them on yesterday. <laughs> I should remember, but they are 235, 70, 15s. So, beautiful. They just make the car sit gorgeous. Now, let me see if I can start rattling off all about this car. It's got the big block. It's got the engine you want. It's got the 348 in it as opposed to the smaller block. I think the small block was a 283. I'm not sure, but this is the one with the big block, okay? It's got 40,000 original miles. So, if you don't include me, which you're not gonna because I'm a dealer, it's a 200 car from new. So, the story is... Well, before I go into the story, let me show you this cool sticker. See it? Colorado, 1977. It's the last time this car was actively on the road. So, the original owner of this car obviously took good care of it. And um, sold it used in 1966 to the gentleman that I got it from. 40,000 original miles. I've even got the original registration and everything going way back. I've got the original tires on this car. Now, I'm talking about the original tires that sold with this car in 1958. Now, they're not in good shape, and you're not going to want to put them on the car. But I've got them, along with the original hubcaps. And you're going to see photos of all this stuff in my uh, listing, okay? So, I've even got the second set of tires, which is a set of tires that I took off this car. Just the other day when I put on these cars. Now they got flat spots and everything, but the tires I took off this car from 1966 are still in actually very, very nice condition. So please take the time to look at my photos and everything because there's a lot to say in this car and there's a lot to look at. So whoever um, loved this car through the years, they even bought original NOS way back in the day, taillight covers, uh, headlights, and all sorts of things that come with this car. So you'll see that in my photos. Now here's the best part. Today, which is July 18th, 2018, is the first day that I actually took the covers off of these seats. Nobody has ever sat in these seats ever except me today. <laughs> now, what I mean by that is back in the day, you can get the plastic cover that goes over these seats and um, it took me a long time to take them off, but I made sure I took all sorts of photographs of them on the seats so you could actually see what I'm telling you is the truth. So in other words, the interior of the car is flawless. 
absolutely incredible and flawless. I'm hoping you can see this. It's just <laughs> outstanding. It really is. It even has the original white ribbed floor mats that I took out. I just don't like them, but they're in perfect shape. I took photos of it as well. Everything on the car is completely bone stock, all right, except for that. Now, those are vintage gauges, okay? They're not ones that were put in recently. I've got the original vintage uh, manuals and everything with those gauges, okay? So they're pretty cool. If you don't want them, you just take them off. There's two screws, one here, one here. You take them off, and uh, you don't have to have that anymore. But it's nice to have those gauges there, okay? I'm hoping my video camera here shows you how perfect the dashboard and everything is because it's truly unbelievable now yesterday I was crawling underneath here <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can capture this a little bit maybe I can maybe I can't but you won't believe the condition of this car behind the dashboard it looks like a brand new car it's crazy uh, you may not be able to see what I see but by looking underneath the dashboard of course that's a telltale sign of how well a car was kept it's perfect it's even got the little stickers and stuff still on the back of the speedometer gauges and everything amazing an amazing automobile of course anybody looking to buy this car has seen American Graffiti just about identical to American Graffiti but I'm pretty sure the one in American Graffiti had a um Talking about the movie from 1972 with uh, Richie Cunningham in it. <laughs> and I forgot the other girl there from Liberty and Shirley. But this is the car, obviously, from that movie. And, um, but this one looks better. It really does. Well, while we're here, let me see if I can do some close ups of everything. Now, the paint is. Uh, beautiful it's not flawless but it's damn close on a scale of 1 to 10 10 being a brand new car this is very conservatively a nine and a half on the paint and the chrome everything everything okay even these pieces down here going down the edge of the car are perfect the, the spear look at that unbelievable no dents just absolutely perfect And it drives brand new. It does everything brand new. It really does. It's got power steering. Doesn't have AC. But if you want to put AC in it, you can put AC in it very easily because from the research I've done, and I could be wrong, but the AC unit was sitting right underneath there, an underdash unit. And uh, you can easily put one in through vintage air. They cost between $1,200 and $1,500 for the parts. Probably a thousand bucks to put it in, but who cares? You'll have AC. There, there's a nice reflection of my woods. So my phone number is 315-853-1967. I live in central New York, Clinton, New York, to be exact. The zip code is 13323, where I live. I'm four hours northwest of New York City, just to give you an example of where I'm at, okay? Right in the center of New York State. Now listen to this. You don't get too many cars that sound like this. I'm hoping it comes through in the video. It closes brand new, sounds brand new, even the other side does. Supersportmotors.com Unbelievable. Supersportmotors.com is my website. Like I said, I've been buying and selling cars for uh, 35 years. I'm in my 50s. I love it. It's not what I do for a living. I'm a retired Air Force major. I've been doing this with cars since I was 14 years old just because I love it. Now listen to it again. <laughs> I'm just doing that over and over again because it sounds like a brand new car even the way the hood opens. 
Now, one thing I left in here, <laughs> just because it's from the former owner, I don't know, maybe it's, thing, maybe it's a thing guys did back in the day, but they got the firing order and everything on here. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Now, it does look like a 409, but it's not because of those little indentations. It's 348. Nice shape. Runs beautiful. Strong, healthy, snappy, all that stuff. Everything on the car is just perfect. Just absolutely perfect. Even the windshield wipers. I've even got original NOS windshield blades in a box that come with this car. Okay? So I'm hoping I am conveying correctly to you that I don't think you can find a finer 58 Impala out there. They're out there, I promise you. But for some reason, there's more convertibles than coupes. The convertibles just don't have that look that the coupe does. It's like looking at a late 60s Shelby Mustang. The convertibles just don't have that look the fastbacks carry. Man, I'm telling you. There's really nothing in this car that I can tell you that's wrong. There might be something. I don't think so. And I've been driving it quite a bit, so although it hasn't seen active road duty since 1977, it seems to be going down the road just fine. So let me recap for you a 1958 Chevrolet Impala with 40,000 original miles. It appears to have 10,000. It's an unbelievable condition. It came from Colorado, where I bought it from. I have the original tires from 58 to 66. I have the original tires from 66 until yesterday. Yesterday, I put brand new tires on it. Everything in the car works that I know of. I just took the plastic off the seats yesterday. The seats, the interior, the headliner, the carpet, the dash, the stereo, and everything is as new as new okay now I will take trades but I only take trades because I love taking new cars in and enjoying new things so something cool and something interesting if you're real close by I can even bring it to you I got a truck and a trailer but a car like this I would prefer to have you ship it enclosed okay this is a valuable car if you want to know what the current book value is, in the summer of 2018, it's sitting at $113,000 high book value. If you go to NADA book, NADAguides.com. Let me say it again. NADAguides.com puts a high book on this thing at 113. Now, aren't you lucky? I'm not going to ask that for it. <laughs> but I am going to ask a good, healthy price for it. You're not going to find a better one. <laughs> I just don't think so. Especially the paint and the way it drives. And that steering wheel with that power steering in this car is effortless and smooth. The car is incredible. Please visit my website. Look at my photos carefully. Call me with any questions. Do not text me. I will not text you back. You can email me if you want to. My email is right there in my website. But I'll say it for you. It's very simple. It's Major Stanton USAF at hotmail.com <laughs> Major Stanton USAF at hotmail.com My phone number is 315-853-1967 I hope this car freaking drives you crazy because to be honest with you it's driven me crazy and I've been trying to find an excuse to keep it for myself but I have a lot of cars in my collection and I can only keep so many and I just can't keep it so Please call me, and I will be happy to meet with you, make an appointment. Please come and view the car in person. I urge people to do that. Smell it, touch it, drive it, feel it. Whatever you got to do to make yourself convinced that this is the one for you. I can guarantee you that the first person who is serious about this car and comes and looks at it in person is going to go ape shit, and they're going to buy it from me. I absolutely promise you. When you see the condition, even the smell inside the car still has a new smell which I can't believe on a car that's 10 years older than me, eight years older than me, whatever. So, supersportmotors.com. Michael Stanton, 315-853-1967. Honestly, it doesn't get better than this or more cool. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me and to look at my video. Thank you.